Hi, this is uh, Pete and uh, today I'd like to tell you something about the bass lines uh, from White Room with the phenomenal Jack Bruce on, uh, on bass. And I would like to thank my friend Jim in the States for mentioning this version of the Royal Albert Hall uh, 2005 uh, to me. Um, because uh, it, it's got a lot of interesting licks which Jack plays on this version, which he doesn't uh, do on the original single of The Cream. So, Jim, thank you for mentioning this uh, to me. And in this video, I would like to tell you something about the licks which uh, Jack uses. And um, let's start with uh, the lick in the first chorus, and that's by 28 to 30, and it goes like this. Once again, and what I do is that I slide uh, this with my third finger. So I start on the G and D and slide to the A and the E notes. And I let the open A string, I let it ring while I play uh, this uh, slide. And of course, on the right hand, I play uh, the two strings with my first and second finger. Well, that's about the first lick. There are a lot of interesting other licks, uh, so uh, let's see what's going on. I like what uh, Jack Bruce uh, does in the, in the main riff when he uh, walks the bass uh, upwards and also downwards. And uh, a nice example of this is in the, uh, let's see, first two and bar 38 and 39, and a couple of bars later in bar uh, 46, 47. Let's look what's happening here. I like to play the first uh, D note uh, on the A string, but it gives the opportunity to do things like this. And when you play an open string already there, well, that's it, and you can't manipulate that, that note in any way. So when it comes to long notes, I uh, tend to play it uh, on the fret and not open string. But when you play this, when you play the second D, it's more obvious to play it then with the open string because that's more easier than doing this. I have to stretch uh, quite a bit here, which is doable, but it's more comfortable to play the second D note uh, on the open string. And I do the same with the, the, the A there. I don't play it here on the fifth string because it's, it's a passing note. You can manipulate it anywhere. So this is more easy to play it open string. And what he does in bar 46, 47 is playing more or less the same lick, but down an octave lower. And it goes like this. And I really like the growl uh, of these uh, low notes in this in this licks. And what I especially like is that he, he doesn't play he doesn't play this in the G F G, but he plays this G G flat or F sharp, what like you do. That's a very nice note. Okay. Let's look at the lick which uh, Jack doesn't play uh, on this version of uh, uh, in the Royal Albert Hall. Um, it's actually uh, a slide which uh, Clapton plays uh, on this song. And he 
slides towards the D. And um, I thought it's just a beautiful note uh, to play on bass also. So that's why I added it uh, on the transcription of the, the video on YouTube. Um, let's look what's happened here. It's about um, chorus 3 and bar 86, 89. It goes like this. And um, this lick is from Jack, but this is actually from Clapton. And what I do here is um, I play with my first finger the B flat, and I put my pinky here on the D flat on the G string, and I slide it towards the D, so you get D B flat chord. Oh, wonderful! And it's it's just too beautiful to don't play it. Um, so, uh, and this lick is typical uh, Jack Bruce, uh, in which he slides downwards. Let's look at the other lick. Um, Jack plays a wonderful ascending uh, line in this uh, version of uh, White Room. And um, this is in, uh, in solo three, in bar 122 and 26. And um, it goes like uh, this. And what I do, I start with my uh, pinky here. And then I shift from my pinky towards my first finger. Again, from my first finger to my f first finger. Again, I shift towards my first finger. Again, to my first finger. So, once again, slowly. This is just a great, uh, fantastic lick which uh, Jack came up with. And I uh, really hope you enjoy that lick. Let's look at another lick. I'd like to tell you something about the, uh, the pedal lick, and it goes like this. It's actually a lick which Jack doesn't play uh, in the version of White Room at the Royal Albert Hall. Um, but when you look at his uh, tutorial video where he explains how he plays White Room, he mentions this uh, pedal lick and I thought it's just too much a beautiful lick uh, to, to not play it uh, on my video. So I edit it. Usually I uh, transcribe bass lines just as close as possible to the uh, original. But in, in this song, White Room, I've added some things like the, the lick which was originally played by Clapton. And also this, this pedal lick uh, because, well, Jack mentioned it in his tutorial video and I thought let's add it. Uh, and it goes like this. with the uh, D major chord, play D here on the E string and an F sharp here with the pinky on the G string, which is uh, nice because the, the song is actually in D minor. And what he does, he ends with a major chord, so that's just nice. But let's look at the lick again. What I do, I play the D and I let the E string, the D string, L string, let it ring. And it 
to make a distance towards the ends I do not this but the and then the triplets okay well um, I hope you uh, enjoyed this video uh, I hope it was helpful for you and uh, I would like to see you next time bye